Welcome, fellow seekers of the truth. Today, we embark on a riveting journey through the enigmatic world of Kalita Smith's net worth, salary, mansion, and more. As a seasoned journalism expert, I've delved deep into the realms of celebrity finance, uncovering the mysteries that shroud the lives of the rich and famous. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Since the early 90s, Kalita Smith has showcased remarkable versatility in the entertainment industry. Solidifying her status as one of the most adaptable actresses, her extensive career spans numerous projects, and she gained widespread recognition for portraying Wanda McCullough on The Bernie Mac Show. From battling zombies in Z Nation to delivering laughs on Martin and The Jamie Foxx Show, Smith has graced both theaters and TV screens with her captivating presence. Despite her prominent on-screen presence, details about Kalita's private life have remained elusive. However, our journalistic pursuit has unveiled some surprising insights. Shedding light on her challenging upbringing, association with the Black Panther Party, a harrowing near-death experience, and intriguing perspectives on monogamy. Kalita Smith boasts a net worth of $3 million, with an impressive salary of $30,000 per episode for her role in the television series, Z Nation. Born on January 15, 1969, in Chicago, Kalita's early life was marked by challenges, including her father's departure to fight in the Vietnam War which ultimately led to the dissolution of her parents' marriage. Raised in Oakland, California, alongside her twin brother Eric, Kalita's upbringing was shaped by her mother after her father's departure. Notably, Kalita was brought up as a Black Panther cub, denoting her status as the offspring of a member of the Black Panther Party. Her education took place at the Oakland Community Learning Center, an institution founded by the Black Panthers. The school faced constant infiltration by authorities, prompting collaboration with the television show, Reebok. Hosted by LeVar Burden, to portray a positive image of the organization. In this context, eight-year-old Kalita was chosen among the students to interview Huey P. Newton, the co-founder of the Black Panther Party, showcasing her early involvement in the socio-political landscape. Remarkably, she even took the initiative to write the script for her own narration, demonstrating her young but perceptive mind. Despite being young, bright, and beautiful, Kalita Smith faced early challenges that took a toll on her spirit. In an interview with the LA Watts Times, she revealed a difficult upbringing, growing up without a father amidst a backdrop of pimps, dealers, and athletes, which negatively impacted her self-image. Violence became a constant companion from infancy through her teenage and early adult years, leaving lasting scars. Despite these hardships, Kalita persevered and obtained a degree in political science from a local junior college. Initially working as a jazz dancer, she soon realized it wasn't enough to make ends meet. In order to pay the bills, she took on roles as a saleswoman and an administrative assistant. Unfortunately, she faced challenges in these positions and admitted in a Reddit Q&A that she wasn't the ideal employee, often getting fired from most of her jobs. At the age of 21, Kalita Smith found herself jobless after getting fired from her last 9 to 5 position. During an interview with the LA Sentinel, she shared the impactful influence of dating a dedicated basketball player who demonstrated the essence of pursuing one's dreams. Witnessing his commitment and eventual success in the NBA, where he is now a Hall of Famer, inspired Kalita to seek a similar passion in her own life. While the identity of the basketball player remains a mystery, some investigative work suggests a connection to someone from her hometown of Oakland, drafted into the NBA around 1990. This aligns with the timeline when Kalita, then known as Kalita, was 21 and undergoing a transformative phase. Seeking her passion, she enrolled in an acting workshop, acknowledging her initial struggles but expressing a deep desire to improve. In an interview with the LA Watts Times, Kalita credited acting with saving her life, explaining how delving into her emotions during performances allowed her to confront personal tragedies and enhance her craft. Around 1993, Kalita moved to Los Angeles, where she ventured into theater. A casting director noticed her talent during one of the productions, leading to appearances on In Living Color and subsequent roles in popular projects such as Living Single, House Party 3, Martin, and The Jamie Foxx Show. It was with the latter that she achieved a milestone, allowing her to purchase a new vehicle, a white drop-top Volkswagen Rabbit with white interior. Kalita persevered and secured roles in numerous well-known shows, proudly attributing her success to hard work and dedication. Despite her achievements, she didn't escape encounters with questionable situations. In an interview with Comedy Hype, 
she emphasized the importance of earning everything through her efforts. Stating, no one's giving me anything I didn't work for, but I've always had things taken away because I would not. Kalita asserted that she maintains her principles and doesn't compromise herself to progress in life, emphasizing that success doesn't require compromising personal values. In the year 2001, Kalita Smith embarked on a significant journey in her acting career by auditioning for a role alongside the renowned Bernie Mac in his upcoming sitcom, The Bernie Mac Show. At that time, Bernie Mac was riding the wave of success following his involvement in the original Kings of Comedy. In a candid revelation on the Vivica A. Fox podcast, Kalita shared insights into the audition process, highlighting the competitive atmosphere due to Bernie's popularity. The auditions attracted a multitude of exceptionally talented actresses eager to collaborate with the successful comedian. Kalita's path to securing the role of Wanda McCullough was not without challenges. Despite facing initial rejections with two, no, responses. Her determination led her through several auditions, including follow-up studio tests and network tests. The final test involved a screen test alongside Bernie Mac to assess their on-screen chemistry. Ultimately, Kalita's talent and perseverance earned her the coveted role. The Bernie Mac show made its debut in 2001, becoming a notable success in the television landscape. The program's achievements were substantial, culminating in a Peabody Award, a Primetime Emmy, and three NAACP Image Awards. Working alongside Bernie Mac on The Bernie Mac Show was a dream realized for Kalita Smith, as she shared with the PC Principal website. Describing Bernie as a class act, always impeccably dressed, punctual, and courteous to everyone, Kalita expressed her admiration, stating, he was one of those people who embodied what it meant to be a king. Despite her integral role in one of the most popular black sitcoms, Kalita felt her contributions were not receiving the recognition they deserved, particularly from black media outlets. Frustrated by this perception, she took matters into her own hands and reached out to Essence magazine, questioning why she wasn't given the opportunity for a feature. When Essence expressed disinterest, Kalita took a bold step, booking a flight to their New York office to address the issue. In a meeting with a young lady overseeing print operations, Kalita confronted the lack of representation within her own community. She questioned, how do I cross over if I can't even have a presence in my own community? If I don't have a presence in my own community, no one is really going to acknowledge what I'm doing. Seeking insight into what it would take for her to be featured, Kalita was met with a disappointing response. The woman pointed to Essence magazine covers displayed on the wall, labeling the individuals as iconic. Undeterred, Kalita emphasized that she and those on the covers were descendants of iconic people and should all be celebrated. Unfortunately, her plea for recognition and acknowledgement within the community fell on deaf ears. In 2006, during a pivotal period when the fate of the Bernie Mac show hung in the balance, the cast took a brief hiatus. It was during this time that Kalita Smith faced an unexpected health challenge. Afflicted by walking pneumonia, a milder form of the infection with cold-like symptoms, Kalita remained unaware of her illness for a couple of months. The situation took a severe turn when the air passages inside her lungs collapsed, prompting an emergency that saw her rushed to the hospital and placed on a ventilator. Recounting her experience to the Hype magazine, Kalita shared that, although she didn't witness the typical visions associated with near-death experiences, she affirmed, I do know I left and then I returned, and that's all I can say. Fortunately, she made a full recovery. Following the conclusion of the Bernie Mac show in April 2006, Kalita, now known as Kalita, continued to stay active in her career. Bernie Mac's unexpected call inviting her to open for him during his month-long residency at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas marked a significant turn. Unbeknownst to Kalita, Bernie made the call from the hospital, and tragically, she would never get the chance to open for him. Bernie passed away a couple of months after their conversation. In June 2020, amid the quarantine, Kalita shared some personal insights with the Hype magazine expressing her eagerness to break free from cabin fever and showcase her new implants out on the town. The actress, who has maintained a level of privacy about her personal life, revealed that she was quarantined with her boyfriend but chose not to disclose his identity. In discussions about family and relationships, Kalita has been open about not having children and never being married. She holds a unique perspective on the traditional notions of marriage and monogamy. In an interview with Comedy Hype, she conveyed her reservations about marriage, viewing it as an arrangement without apparent privileges. Interestingly, 
Kalita credits her unmarried status as a factor contributing to her youthful appearance over the years. As we move into early 2024, we are privileged to gain insights into Kalita's life, particularly details about her residence. This new information offers a glimpse into the actress's world, adding another layer to her story. Mansion in Los Angeles, California, Kalita Smith's residence has become a subject of interest, revealing a fascinating glimpse into her personal life. Surprisingly, she resides in a splendid house, and what's intriguing is that she lives alone. There is speculation and hope that she might expand her family this year for a happier life. Acquiring the house in 2008 for a mere $800,000, the current valuation has soared to an impressive $1.9 million, showcasing a substantial increase in its worth. This growth is undoubtedly commendable. Situated in the picturesque hills of Tazana, south of the avenue, the house spans an expansive 2,536 square feet, encompassing four bedrooms and five bathrooms. Positioned on a half an acre lot, the residence offers breathtaking city views from every room. Noteworthy features include a paid solar installation for energy efficiency. Upon entering through the custom glass front door, the home exudes a welcoming ambiance. Originally designed with five bedrooms, one has been extended to enhance the master bedroom suite. The kitchen has undergone a stylish renovation, boasting stainless steel appliances, a wine refrigerator, lazy Susan, pull-out pantry, water filter, and a center island with granite countertops. Additional highlights include glass wall paneling, custom cabinetry, and garden windows providing outstanding views. The house also features a formal living room with a wood fireplace, a stunning courtyard accessible through double-framed sliding doors, and a formal dining room with wood floors and crown molding throughout. The family room, den boasts wood floors, and the bathrooms have been tastefully remodeled. Two large terraces offer opportunities to relax while enjoying the stunning views. The outdoor space is equally enticing, with custom pavers, walkways, and retractable awnings for shade. Two built-in barbecue grills, one gas burner and one coal burner, add to the appeal. The front yard features brick pavers and planters, creating a charming and well-maintained exterior. This delightful home strikes a balance between being nestled in the beautiful hills and remaining conveniently close to great restaurants, shopping, and transportation options. Kalita Smith's residence not only reflects her success but also provides a serene retreat that captures the essence of comfort and elegance. Kalita Smith is known to own a limousine rental, reflecting her refined taste in automobiles. While details about additional cars she may possess remain confidential, the limousine rental stands out as a symbol of sophistication and luxury in her collection. The limousine rental is a classic choice, known for its elegance and comfort. With its spacious interior and smooth ride, this iconic sedan combines performance with style. Its distinctive design and premium features make it a fitting choice for someone like Kalita Smith, who undoubtedly values both comfort and class. While specific details about the model year, color, or additional cars in Kalita Smith's collection may remain undisclosed, the limousine rental serves as a testament to her refined taste in automobiles. It's not just a means of transportation, it's a statement of sophistication, aligning seamlessly with her successful career and lifestyle. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.